that shot. It's time for another photo adventure, and we are in downtown Boise, um, photographing some really cool architecture, some cityscapes today. Um, I want to try to find some really cool older, like, kind of almost forgotten type of buildings here downtown. Um, I have a few in mind, but I'm thinking I might just kind of walk along some streets and see what kind of jumps out at me. And oh my gosh, this has been like the longest wait for spring to arrive that I can remember. Oh my gosh, we are just now seeing signs of spring, thank goodness, but it's so good to be outside and photographing again. We literally went from like freezing temperatures like in the 20s to almost 90 like overnight. So it's a warm one today, but I'm excited to be out photographing. So let's get going. So we're starting out here at a historic church in downtown Boise. This is St. Michael's Church. Uh, it, the sign said it was dedicated in 1902, so very early historic church. Then we're gonna head across the street to um, Carnegie Library. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but that is our state capital across the street. So this is definitely like a historic kind of area of Boise. So definitely want to be photographing it. Um, also, this is a really fun addition to my Idaho A Moment in Time project. So if you're not familiar with that or new to that, this project that I'm working on, I'm gonna include a link below so you can check that out. So here we are at the Carnegie Library. Uh, this is just a really cool, older, historic building in Boise. I want to make sure that I photograph it. I don't exactly know what's going to be happening with it, and so I want to make sure that I document it as it is now. It's just right across the street from the church that we were just photographing. Um, so it's in this really historic area of Boise. So it was built in 1905, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I remember it saying. Um, it was actually uh, built because of a grant that a women's group in the early 1900s um, wrote a letter to Andrew Carnegie and was able to get a grant to build this library. And so it was the library in Boise for decades, I think till the 1970s. So very cool historic kind of I don't know, like architectural monument here in Boise. So want to make sure I capture it. So one of the first things that jumped out at me was this broken lamp. I love how it shows the contrast between elegant traditional architecture and decay. And that's something that I'm focusing on in this project that I'm working on in telling the story of the different regions I visit in Idaho because things are changing so fast. And I wanna really make sure that I capture specific aspects of history before they're gone. Mm -hmm. 
So here I'm wanting to capture the overall grand look of the library and I'm having a little bit of difficulty with the light because the sun is located just to the top right of the frame behind a cloud and any which way that I photograph this that area of the sky is getting blown out and so rather than fight this original image I ended up going back to this location a couple days later when there was a more overcast sky and I just love how it adds to the melancholy mood of this photo. And you might notice too that the lamppost in the front, the broken part, isn't there anymore. And so that just goes to show you that when you have a chance to take a photo, take it because it might not be there for very much longer. When I first upgraded to the D850, I wasn't sure if I would use the tilt screen on the back very much because I've never had that feature on a camera before. But in this situation, it came in really handy so that I could raise up my camera and get a different perspective. And here I'm noticing this broken glass window. It's telling a story of neglect. And through the window, you can see some really cool, elegant woodworking. And so I wanted to blend those together and kind of tell a story of both elegance and decay all in one image. We also have some modern structures here in Boise too. This is known as the Hall of Mirrors and I just love the reflection of the clouds in the glass windows. It's just a fun, simple, contemporary looking photo. Smells pretty. It smells really good. The trees are kind of making a frame for the building. Oh yeah. It's really cool. So instead of photographing it straight on, you know, like you normally do architecture, I think it has a really fun angle. Love it. This is the historic county courthouse inspired by ancient Egyptian architecture in the Art Deco style. Man, it smells so pretty right here. Is it what this tree? is that? I think it's this tree. What is it? It's almost, like, <laughs> it's almost like it's almost like grape soda. It does, yeah. right? Uh -huh. Well, angle? now I smell hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> This is, hungry. <laughs> this is like smell -o vision Am I hungry? I think I'm hungry. <laughs> well, I know we're getting on the way home. <laughs> Let me tell you about all the things that I smell while I'm out photographing things. <laughs> and now we're headed to a great spot to capture a wide angle shot at the Capitol building. Oh, this is cool. Check out the clouds behind the building how it's kind of like on the rosemary video that it kind of framed out the picture it does i really like this guy tonight Okay, after doing some photography downtown and getting some really cool architecture, I thought it'd be really cool to hike up into the foothills just a little bit above the city and see if I can get some really cool sunset shots like over the city, like cityscape. Um, yeah, so whew, we're hiking. And it's exhausting, but we're going to get there. It's going to be really cool. Okay, so I think we found a pretty good spot to set up. We have a really nice kind of view of the city. Sunset's almost here. So I'm going to get the tripod set up. And um, if you can see over there, we have a nice view of the Capitol. Um, that's where we were just kind of walking around, taking pictures. Ooh! 
I just noticed. <laughs> you can see the train depot from here. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it below. But yeah, we photographed the train depot uh, last fall and videoed it, so. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm using my L bracket for the first time. Now, what I wanna do is get some of the capital with the crane there too. Kinda of goes towards my idea of, you know, Idaho, a moment in time. Capturing the new and the old. Yeah, actually, ah, this is a cooler shot, okay. I repositioned the camera and actually I want to be a little lower I think because what I'm seeing is some of this wispy grass oh yeah so if I get some of that and then it leads into the capital and then you know the distant stuff right. might be it. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. If we don't end up with the cityscape, we're okay. Because this makes up for it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. I even like that, like, sandy stuff. I don't even know what that is. Oh, I love that little pink. Yeah. Just hint of pink. I think we got some really good shots. I can't wait to see what this last one looks like on the computer. Oh my gosh, what a surprise. It just goes to show you, when you're out photographing, turn around, because there's some awesome stuff behind you too. Um, I just, it's been so much fun getting out and photographing, like I said in the beginning of this adventure. Oh my gosh, it has been such a long start to the spring season. And it just feels so good to be outside in nature photographing again. Oh my goodness. And thanks so much for coming along with me. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a, 
a thumbs up. I would love that. And um, if you have any questions or want to leave a comment, go ahead and do that in the comments below. I would love that as well. Um, anyway, until next time, get out there, get clicking, adventure awaits. Check it out, guys. An owl just flew in front of us. If you're interested in my Idaho A Moment in Time um, project, go ahead and check out this video next. It goes into all of the inspiration and the idea behind it, um, kind of where I'm going with that project. So check out that video.